All right. So, uh, the Super Nintoaster. Pretty much the same deal as my last project, only this time, obviously, we are dealing with the Super NES as opposed to the old 8-bit NES. And, uh, yeah, I pretty much still despise the AC adapters, so you will not be seeing any of those here today. And I do apologize, this is extremely hard to do single-handed, and my camera sucks. But you're going to be excited. Guys, I'm just thinking about you. And I did this just for you. Check it out. Properly color-coded AV jacks. Yeah. Let's hook it up. We got our yellow to yellow for video, because everybody knows that uh, video signals can only travel through yellow cables. <clears throat> anyway, and then our white and red for audio. Video, audio left, audio right, because the Super NES is a stereo system. Take the other end of our cable, plug that into the TV, yellow, white, and red. Left slot, you've got the, uh, well, that's the game slot. And over here, you got your player one, player two controller ports, and this little guy here is the reset button, in case anybody was wondering what the hell that was. Let me go ahead and plug in our controller. Just get that in there. And for testing purposes, I'm going to go ahead and toss in some Super Metroid. Great game. One of my favorites. I'm going to drop the lever, and there's our familiar ominous orange glow. But uh, this time I have changed things up a little bit. Um, some people had mentioned on my last toaster they would have liked to have seen the uh, temperature control knob adjust the brightness of the LEDs, so now it does. Now you've seen it. Let's go ahead and do a quick demo. And I do mean quick demo because this is damn near impossible to do, do single-handed. I'm going to load my save game here. Okay, I get it. Let's see if I get out this door. Alright. Let's go for two. Now, of course, it would be a missile door. Yeah, well, you get the idea, it works. And that's uh, pretty much it. Well, I will be honest, there is one issue I noticed with it. Um, Super Mario World 2, Yoshi's Island, I believe it's called, um, does take issue with this system. I don't know why. Um, it seems to uh, freeze and glitch out at certain spots. Um, I've done extensive testing. I can't quite figure that one out, and I think it may be my copy of the game. Because every other game I've thrown in here uh, does work perfectly fine. And this one, for example, I was able to play through it start to finish without a single problem. So, I'm just going to go ahead and call it done. Um, yes, I uh, do have different projects on the way. Uh, some of you by now are probably saying, Okay, Richard, we get it. You know how to cram stuff into toasters. When are you going to stop doing that? And I ask you, good sir.